country? Yes, I already actually don't have the idea. I um, this is about one of the best, other than the New York Times list and the Indie list. I just found out a, um, a couple of months ago, I was awarded a um, fellowship to go to a writer's residency in the south of France for six weeks. They give me a room in a chateau overlooking the Mediterranean, and I don't have to do anything but write. And they feed me and serve wine. And, uh, is that unbelievable? It's right next yeah, to Cannes. Right so I'm, I'll be there. Uh, no, it's a little town called La Napole. Oh, okay. So I knew that the next novel had to be set in the south of France, and I have the idea, I don't want to talk about it yet, but it takes place uh, uh, along the coast there. So, um, Ellen, any uh, plans to go uh, on a book tour in Paris? Well, yeah, th th you'll be interested in this story. Um, I. My first novel, French Lessons, was translated in six other languages, and it was actually a bestseller in France. They sold 130,000 co copies. Like oh, I'm sorry. On a Night Like This, not French Lessons. Um, uh, that's wishful thinking. Um, so my French sub-agent has been dying for me to write another novel that can be another French bust. I've been dying to write the next novel that would be a bestseller in France. So when I finished French lessons, we were in Paris, and I set up to meet with her, and I said, oh, you're going to be so happy. The new novel takes place in Paris. And she, ça va pas. <laughs> oh, no, 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 ça va pas. And I said, why not? She said, well, um, the French hate when other nationalities try to write about the French. And I said, oh, no, no, this is fine, because there are actually three French characters in the novel, so it's not just Americans in Paris. She said, oh, that's worse. I said, why? She said, well, other, other cultures don't understand us, so it's exactly your question and Joyce's question. Um, so we would be, and uh, it turns out that Da Vinci Code, which sold, you know, yeah. astronomically in every country, the French were the last country in the world to buy the rights because they hated the fact that it took place in Paris. So, so far they are saying no, but my agent thinks that, uh, you know, when they hear that it's doing well here, they will end up buying the rights. Seems crazy, right? That's just so nuts. So it was just bought in the UK, and it was bought in um, Germany, and there's interest from a Russian publisher. Um, and that's all before the news of hitting the good list, so I'm hoping that there'll be more foreign sales. And the London publisher um, has asked if I'll come for a book tour, and it would coincide to when I'm it will come out there in November, which is when I will be finishing the residency in South France. So I think um, I'll head there for book tour, but I don't know anything about the other countries yet. But that's pretty fun. Well, and there's, of course, a big enough expat community in Paris that you could do it. Right. You know. I, and, uh, you know, that's, uh, I would love to have that happen on so many different levels, but uh, we'll <coughs> see. And it's just a little crazy. Yeah, I, when I was uh, teaching at the um, Paris Writers Workshop that summer, I gave a reading at the Village Voice, which you all know, which is this fabulous little um, bookstore in the 6th arrondissement in Paris, and it was about 110 degrees that night, Neil, is that right? It was unbelievable, and um, there were a few of us who were reading, but to me, it was a dream. I mean, I had been there so many times to see Richard Ford and all these great writers, and, you know, to think, to me, I'm here in this in this bookstore reading from my novel. So to do it for French lessons would really be a dream. But we'll see. Who knows if they're going to get over that attitude? You can still do the English language ones. Yes, yeah. that is true. I can do the English language, right? Yeah. And here's an interesting surprise: Woody Allen's Midnight in Paris has been a big success in Paris. It opened the Cannes mm. Film Festival, right. and that defies all those rules. And the reason, apparently, for that is Woody Allen is in a class of his own. Right. He is, he is like not even considered American. He's just Woody Allen. Um, and so it's OK for him to have his uh, Paris um, uh, movie. It's pretty funny. Like, um,